Good day, everyone. Thank you for coming to church. I'm so glad that you made it. I'm very, very delighted to lead you through this prayer walk, which goes from Psalm 119 verse 99 in the Passion Translation. And it says, You have given me more understanding than those who teach me, for I have absorbed your eye opening. I'm just going to explain the vital point, and I hope you are able to pray with me wherever you are. So this verse assures us, gives us the assurance of understanding more than our teachers. As teenagers as we all are, we have the sole goal of getting all A's or getting high marks and scores. So I just hope, I just want you to see that this is like an assurance, a confession to say every morning that I can be smarter than my teachers. It also takes us to Daniel. It says that Daniel was 10 times smarter than all and his friends they were 10 times smarter than all of the other students that were with them in babylon so i just want you to get through that and then i also like for you to pray and encourage you that you can understand anything the bible says i can do all things through christ that strengthens me so i would love for you to pray for understanding to not just understand the physical things of the world but the deep things of the spirit realm i also want you to thank him and ask for him that he give you the understanding that you desire in Jesus name by Jesus that we have prayed let me also pray for you father in Jesus name I am that I am highest one father we thank you for giving us the grace to pray in your presence we also thank you for giving us the grace to come to your presence father be highly exalted Lord in Jesus name father we ask for understanding of the high order we ask for understanding for deep things, not, not just for physical. Father, give, us, give to us what we request in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Hope you enjoy your service. Goodbye, everyone.
Hi, my name is Lawal Iriolua and I'm going to be taking the topic positive thinking as a teenager. Happy independence to all Nigerians out there. Before we start, I would like to pray. Dear Father, we thank you so much for bringing everyone here. Thank you Lord for making this service possible. May your name highly be exalted in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, let this message reach the person that it is supposed to reach. Father, let the message help them or assist them in any way that it can they will be blessed in Jesus name. Amen. So positive thinking as a teenager is the topic but before we go into that let's break it down a little bit shall we? Thinking. What is thinking? Google told me that thinking is the conscious cognitive process that happens independently due to sensory stimulation. If you do not understand that meaning because I didn't either Thinking is basically reasoning about something, considering something. While positivity, on the other hand, is the state of being, well, positive. It is, it is being optimistic in attitude. And as Christians, as teenagers who are Christians, it's quite easy for us to be positive because we have Christ. And since we have Christ, why do we need to be negative? Take the story of Jesus and the disciples, for instance. They were in the boat, the boat was rocky, the waves were hitting, and the disciples were very anxious. They were shaking, they were scared, they didn't know what to do. And Jesus came up from below the deck and he was confused. Why are you scared? I am here with you. Jesus is literally the physical representative of God. He was with them and he is with us. And since we know that he is with us, there is no need for us to be anxious. Philippians 4, 6 to 7 says, do not be anxious in anything, but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, bring your request to Christ and the peace of God that transcends all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. The Bible says itself, that we do not need to be anxious because if we pray and with thanksgiving, everything is going to be all right. The peace of God that transcends all understanding, it is way bigger than any one of us can comprehend. That kind of peace will guard us. There is no need to be anxious. Every human being has the choice to choose between being positive and being negative. Though it might seem like an easy task, most teenagers find themselves falling into negativity. That's why we have issues such as, um, um, that's why we have teenagers comparing themselves and belittling themselves. That's why we have um, emotional disabilities. That's why we have social phobias. That's why some teenagers lack interest in things that are most times enjoyable. Now you might be asking, why exactly is it so hard for teenagers to be positive? Firstly, it is trendy. It's quite sad to hear, but that is the truth. I don't even I miss if I don't understand as a teenager why it's it's such a it's such a special thing to have a mental disability. A friend of mine, um, he was moody one day and I asked him what's going on and he said he has depression and I've known him for quite a long time and I was confused because I didn't know when that started and I asked him, oh, have you been to a doctor? I hope you're using your medicines. And then he goes, what doctor? And then I'm confused. How exactly do you know you have depression? Oh, my friend has depression. It's just just things that people pick up recently there was there was um, an era where tiktokers were being exposed for faking Tourette syndromes these are things that people who actually have them are trying to get rid of but yet we are copying not me yet they are copying those particular things because of what peer pressure that's what the crowd says what i realize and what we all should realize is that immediately we take a step back from the crowd and push away from peer pressure most of our negative thoughts will disappear and then the bible says in romans 12 to do not be conformed to the standards of this world but be inwardly transformed by the renewing of your mind it is what we focus on that we become where there's positivity there will be negativity where there is light there will be darkness it is what we focus on that we will see most people focus on the negative that is just what happens and as christians we should not be doing that let's take nigeria for example of course like right now our economy is quite bad right now we have very interesting leaders but we have to look at the positive things for instance, we have wonderful resources and that's just the truth. No one can argue that. Secondly, we do not have natural disasters. That's something to be grateful for because we are, we are already overpopulated. Imagine having hurricanes, volcano eruptions. Imagine having earthquakes 24-7. There are some cities that are used to having hourly earthquakes. 
that will be disastrous. That is one thing to be grateful for. I'm sure wherever you are, you have the negative side of your country and they're also very much the positive side of your country. That is what you should be focusing on. And the Philippians 4, 8 says, Whatever is true, whatever is right, whatever is noble, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, anything that is of excellence or praiseworthy, we should focus on that. The Bible says that though there are a lot of things happening, we should focus on the positive. There is a common prayer that my mom prays. Wherever there's a casting down, my prayer will be that there's a lifting up. That is the kind of mindset that we should have even though our world might be filled, filled with negative things we should always and always think about the positive and i know right now whoever i'm speaking to your world might be crumbling your world might be shaking let's pray father lord i pray for whoever is listening that they will find you in the name of jesus father lord negativity might be a trend right now in wherever they are but father lord fill their mind with positive and positive and positive things father lord let them remember when they feel lonely that you are there for them and nothing nothing of the world will hurt them in the name of jesus amen thank you very much for coming to this service um i hope you have a lovely lovely week thank you